So can you believe it's been almost two years since I took down the original New Junction? Now, although some of you may have seen, I have been involved in quite a few layout builds and many layouts with a day job. I've not had one of my own. Um, so today is quite an exciting day, which is why I'm up um, really early and in the garage. <clears throat> because I'm expecting a very special visitor today. And that visitor is Dan Everson of Tunnel Lane Model Railways, who I've commissioned to build the baseboards for New New Junction. So, without further ado, hopefully you're glad to see this back. I will say hello and welcome to New Junction. You join me, episode one, the building of the baseboards. So here we are in the garage and I'm joined by Dan Everson of Tunnel Lane Model Railways. Hello. Now, Dan, a lot of people will be at home with them. Some people will be grateful for you because you've <laughs> finally got New Junction back off the ground again. Yeah. Some people will hate you for it because <laughs> you've finally got New Junction back off the ground again. Um, so for those at home who don't know, you build model railways predominantly. Yes, yeah, yeah. So so um, as I've right, right so this was a hobby for me originally. And uh, now, obviously, it's, it's a full-time job, right? So, yes, so, uh, you know, this is one aspect I can do. Um, majority it is building actual layouts themselves, or obviously the figure painting as well, which is another aspect. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm pleased with this project. It's been, so the, the up to date is this has been the <coughs> largest one I've built so far. You know, building, like I say, building two baseboards is easy. Building ten, yeah. all fit, handmade, is, um, you know, it only takes a mill to act. But, um, so, suppose yeah. it is, because... Relatively, it's um, the class as a normal or medium-sized model railway. Yes. At um, sixteen by eight. Yeah. But for, for your aspect, because you've had to build it, it's ten individual yes. bases. Yeah. So that, that's it. So so my 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 issue with building this big is that I haven't got the space to set this up as a whole building. So I have to do one board at a time, making sure this board fits that board, which fits that board. So in theory, when we go in a big circle, we should get there, and and we've done it. So that's good. That's lovely. 
you know, those would be a bit embarrassing on my part if it didn't fit, would it? But, you know. <laughs> it'd be more embarrassing if I measured it wrong. Yeah, well, then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, we're, we're there. No, yeah, it was really, yeah, hopefully this will inspire you know, to, uh, to crack to on. And, with the next yeah, yeah, definitely, you know. Um, it's a very special moment for any modern railway when you've got that blank baseboard yeah, yeah. in front of you. Yeah, yes, yes. So, yeah, even from, Daniel, yeah, from now. I'm looking at it and thinking, well, what will I do with it? You know, so, no, it is, it is, this, 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 this is your blank canvas I had to do, you know, to do your Mole on, isn't it? Or Mona Lisa or whatever you want to do on it. You know, this, this, this is it. So, uh, yeah, no, I'll be definitely following and watching and see what you're up to now. And watching the, uh, you know, this has been a lot of effort putting these together. So, they're, they're my baby too is yours. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you watch, you want to do with them. <clears throat> I'll look after them. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm, I'm gone. Tell me a bit more about the process you yourself go into for building baseboards because I know you don't laser cut them. No, still... no, no, I'm still uh, power tools and you know, squares and old school, really, I suppose, really, apart from yeah. a few power tools involved. Um, so I logically think about how I'm going to put it together. Um, obviously, you've got to think about wasted. So the last thing I want to do is waste wood, not nowadays. You, you know, uh, birch pie isn't cheap, as you know. Yeah. Uh, so you really want to try and cut it. Uh, a correctly and B get your wastage to a minimum. Um, so we also work with baseboards first of all. So the baseboards are four foot long, which is lovely because that's the width of a sheet of ply. So you're often a, a reasonable start of being a square to start with. Obviously made all the sides, all the four inch sides to them. Um, then legs. So legs I designed one way in my head how to, how to sort of go about doing them. So they, they start off with a sort of a four inch square there if you imagine, <coughs> down to a two inch at the bottom. Um, and then just basically making sure that they are spot on. So I think two and a half sheets of plywood to, I think, to make those. Um, and just, you know, every one sort of cut by one by hand with, you know, drops or... But, um, yeah, it took a little while. <laughs> I see legs in my sleep, do I should have shut my eyes? So, yeah, four, four, yeah, but there's 80 parts, 40 legs. Um, so the feet to be screwed to them. So yeah, so it's, it does sound quite impressive when you think there's forty legs on this railway. Yeah, it's more yeah. than the original New Junction. It, it was yeah. Oh no, to be fair to you, you've um, overspecked this I think by miles, yeah. but it's definitely built. You know, it's, it's you can sit on this now. It's, it's strong enough, sort of thing. You know? um, yeah, I think I think it's going to be a real great lag. I'm really looking forward to watching what you do with it. You've got about exhibitions as well, and obviously it is capable of being a longer. Well, she just does as it is now as well. So, um, so yeah, no, it's really interesting. Been interesting build. Learning care for me. You know, what does what does doesn't work. My biggest issue again for me is space. My workshop is much bigger than what we're in here. So, um, trying to stack them all. They've got forty legs that want to try and fall over and kill you at any point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. it's not put you off making baseboards then. No, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, one a month enough, you know. Uh, <laughs> and the priorities first. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, yeah, I, I, I can, I've always been quite good at DIY, so it's something I, I find easy to do. Uh, I say it's just, yeah, another string to my belt, I suppose, really. Yeah. Um, You're becoming quite the um, uh, man of talent, really, because you, you, you build baseboards, you build layouts, you paint, uh, obviously, <laughs> modeling yeah, figures. Yeah, we, we, we um, just seem <clears> to have um, just fell. Quite, you know, from what I can do, this, this hobby seems to have felt quite well suited sort of thing. So yes, I can build the baseballs, do the wiring, we do obviously the, you know, the build of the scenery, fine detail, fine scale. So yeah, I know for me it's a nice variety. You know, one day I'm here, tomorrow I'm paint, figure painting again yeah. tomorrow. So every day is a different day. So and of course you're submitting articles to Hornby magazine. Yes, yeah, obviously well. yes, to, yes, busy writing for Hornby as well. So yes, we we no, are stopping you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, not for the washing up. <laughs> yeah, anything to avoid yeah, the washing up. Yeah, wife, yeah, yeah. If, if the wife watches, I still can't use the washing machine right that. So, yeah. <laughs> Things you do to not go home. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know, I know, I should do soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's been a, it's been a, a good day. I've enjoyed myself here. You know, uh, seeing, seeing all the bits and bobs and stuff. And say, so, yeah, this is fit, which is lovely. You're happy, which is good. Um, so yeah, I think we're, we're there, aren't we? And after ask last question, for the viewers at home who are maybe thinking about building their own model railway, if you could give someone a top tip for going about building a model railway or indeed starting a project. I would say... Um, do don't do it. it. Yeah, don't do it. Don't, just don't do it. No. Do, do research um, yeah, with, with, with the baseboards, make sure things lovely and square, take your time. You know, it, it's so easy to rush, but by a couple of millimetres out can make the next ball not fit properly and then you start trying to bodge things and it just, it just doesn't work. Um, with the layouts, again, um, you know, think about obviously how it's going to look at the end. You know, so it's all your, your end goal, um, and just ask people and learn. You, know, you Google, 
YouTube or to Facebook groups, you know, be you, follow, you know, um, and just, you know, if in doubt, ask somebody. That's, that's the main thing to do. Um, it's all too easy, you know, even for me, for, I want to build the buildings. It's like, well, I want to build a factory. Okay, I know how a factory looks. Start building it, and then you actually discover, ah, oh, actually, what you think a factory looks like, how it really is built. So just, just take your foot off the gas a little bit and just do a bit of research and just think about it before you go, you know, hammer and tom at it and go, ah, oh, that's not quite what I wanted, really. Um, you know, yeah, maybe with a figure painting, keep it neat, keep it, keep it, that's the key thing, is just keeping it neat and tidy, you know. Um, but yeah, just take your time, really. I think it's a, enjoy it. That's the main thing. Yeah. A, it's a hobby for a lot of people, enjoy it, you know. It's, uh, or do what I've done and ask, get, ask someone who can yeah, to well, do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Palm it off. <laughs> yeah, still enjoy you it. You can have the sleep this night. Yeah, I still enjoy it, honestly. <laughs> it's great, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, be, eat, breathe and live in sawdust for the last week and a bit, so yeah, so it's, <laughs> I think there's somebody there still now, I think, somewhere. <laughs> well, wonderful. No, as you said, I'm chuffed to bits with this. Good. Um, it's the start of a very long project, I'm no doubt, and uh, <laughs> yes. hopefully we'll see more of the Yeah, I'll pass across again there, guys. In the future. Yeah, definitely. No, well, thanks for having me, and thanks for uh, commissioning me to build these beautiful to it. Absolutely uh, pleasure. Absolute possible. pleasure, I should say. Okay, thank you. There we go. See you, buddy. So Dan's gone home after a long, hard day. Believe it or not, I did make him earn his money. I just want to say a big thank you to him because it's always a risky thing asking someone else to build anything for you to do with your model railways, whether that be baseboards or a respray or weathering. And I think Dan's come up trumps. I mean, these baseboards are exactly what I wanted. Um, they are solid as you like. They're not going anywhere. And, uh, well, I couldn't be happier. So, I better do some explaining. <clears throat> the baseboard design. I had one or two things I needed to uh, tick off. The first one, and most important one. This is a double garage, however, I needed a layout that could fit in a single garage because you never know what's around the corner. With the original new junction, I had to take it down because of a house move, um, and that was, of course, in the loft. <clears throat> which, although in hindsight, I was probably getting to the end of what I could do with that layout, um, it, was, um, it wasn't nice to have to rip it up. So this layout, A, had to be modular, and B, had to be able to reduce down in size, dare I say it, to fit in a single garage, because you never know what's around the corner. <clears throat> so through the magical art of pencils and paper, I'm gonna try and explain what I have foreseen for this layout because it is slightly smaller, slightly smaller than the original layout. So I wanted it to be modular, mainly so it's future proof and also so I could potentially take it to an exhibition or two. However, at 16 foot by eight foot wide, um, it's, a, it's a good size for a home layout, but an exhibition layout, particularly one focusing on a mainline modern image running, it's probably a bit on the small side. So, <clears throat> bear with me. <laughs> Through my uh, amazing graphics that you're seeing on screen, at the top of your screen, you can see it as is in its current format. Now, there are six boards numbered. They are what I'm calling the scenic boards. They're basically the long edges. They are two and a half foot wide. And when they are in the this format, they will form a traditional tail chaser layout that will fit in a single garage. Exhibition mode, I want to be able to join boards one through six together and then have them go back around on themselves so there'll be a separate fiddle yard for exhibition purposes. So in effect, the scenic side doubles in length. Hopefully that gives us a bit more play value and a bit more running. Making that work is going to be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Now, I've got a few ideas up my sleeve I've spoken to a few people who know far more about these things than I ever could, and um, I think we've got a plan in action to make this work. However, you'll have to bear with me. Um, it's all a bit fresh to be able to uh, give too much away at this stage, and I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so in terms of the layout and its ideas, um, following the same theme as the first, it will be an East Coast mainline based modern image layout. I would like at least double track mainline, except this time it will be raised um, with a single track heritage line on the lower level 
and they will intertwine as they go around the boards. The scenic boards are two and a half foot wide this time around and hopefully that spreads out the scenery and uh, in, th in my mind will probably make it a bit more realistic. The original new junction, the heritage line was crammed so close to the main line, it didn't give you any room to add any scenery per se and uh, just didn't really fit. So as you can tell at this stage I'm very much uh, open to ideas. Um, I've had a few suggestions so if you've got any please let me know in the comments. I read them all. Let me know on the Facebook page, the Instagram page, any way you like. If you've got a suggestion tag me in it, comment on it, you know I will see them and they'll all get thrown into the pot. Talking of ideas in the pot I did throw it out to the channel patrons uh, a few days ago to ask whether they had any ideas they'd like adding into the mix and food for thought for yourselves as well. So Dylan suggested York Railway Museum. Now believe it or not the original layout past the station there was a, a siding which never went anywhere in the end that was going to go to a probably a Shildon-esque railway museum um, <clears throat> so that may be something that could be possible especially in a uh, more of a town scene. He'd also like to see the return of a heritage line so we've already covered that that's definitely coming um, love a good heritage line. <clears throat> Andy Clark has suggested maybe parcel sidings or bay platforms but in a sense of an overgrown underused um, sort. Lots of detail in that um, particularly the um, Thunderbird sidings at York that kind of thing um, and of course we had them on the previous new junction so um, they'd be a great fit. Um, he has all suggested for those who don't know um, near I think it's near Lincoln actually or Newark um, there is a crossing where you get double track and it literally goes like that which is quite rare in the UK and that would be quite an interesting uh, uh, thing to model um, but he suggested that for the pot but as I said any ideas throw them down below in the comments and they'll all get uh, pondered over heavily in the next few weeks. A couple of things I'd like to add to the mix of course the raised main line, the lower heritage line. I'd also like some form of automatic road system, whether that be a Fala road system or using uh, some software like iCar. Um, I need to look into it, maybe even MagnaRail. Um, that would be also nice to have intertwining in places um, and just to add a bit more excitement to the layout and see really what where we can go with the new technology that's out there since building the previous one. In the short term for the boards, of course, not much will change. I do have to paint them because um, just to protect them from the elements a bit, especially at this stage. Um, I'm going to paint them a lovely uh, coat of grey. Um, it's a shame because I think they look stunning like this and um, they make the garage smell lovely but uh, we've got to protect them. These are here to stay and these are the boards which will hopefully serve many years. Now the keen-eyed amongst you will have already spotted my brand new edition, the Azuma Class 800 um, from Hornby. Now <clears throat> it's been so long since I've uh, treated myself to uh, anything double O gauge. I was so excited when that landed on the uh, doorstep of Tony's trains the other week and I was uh, straight down there to pick that up and uh, I have to say it's, it's got me right in the right place and right frame of mind for a uh, brand new layout. It's one of those trains that if you're modelling that era it's a must have because they're so iconic now. And finally before I get off for this episode I just want to say a big thank you to the channel patrons. I know on the run up to this we've had uh, some interesting conversations to and from um, regarding the build and stuff because you've seen all the photos before it's actually happened. So I just want to say a big thank you to them and they are Harry Jones, Paul Smith, Dylan Chesworth, Jigoku Samurai, Sam and Henrik, Andy Clark, CW315, Lewis Forrester, Sam Yates, Trish Bitts and Stephen Owen. Many thanks indeed. Right, all that's left for me to do now is say thank you very much for watching as ever. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment and subscribe. You know the drill. But thank you for watching. Big thank you to Dan for building these layouts and uh, I better get on and paint now. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now. It's great to be back.